Alright. So yeah, I got my Paris apply. I didn't finish painting it yet. I still got a lot of cosmetics I want to do to it. I'm going to sand it down and stuff. Uh, hit sandpaper, get this nice. Paint it again. Get a good couple coats on to her. Okay, I just want to show how it works. The whole idea of doing it this way. I'm running that. That's, that's a home amp. I took it out of a box so I could use it to test out stuff too. I got all kind of. I don't even want to get into it. I got crazy stuff, man. I got my own D bar in here. Got my own DVR in there. Satellite everything. I got one hell of a workshop back here. But it's just as simple as I screwed it, mounted it to my little box here. Where I got everything mounted. Right here, one plug. This is RCA and video. And you see the red and white I came off and that runs this LED in the front. So you know what's on. I had to run a three volt over, and I took parts off the board because of the microphone. I turned the microphone output here into a video, which you need one of these. Uh, one of these would help. It's a quarter inch phone jack to RCA. Plug it right up. And here's a proof video right into it. And we got video. Still good quality picture, everything. No bullshit. Just like that. Simple as that. Look. Plug it in. There you go. This one over here is for sound. You just plug in your headphone jack, your iPod. I'm running right off the laptop here. I got a laptop back here running shit right off YouTube and internet and all that I got the video right now coming off the satellite I got it running there I got RCA's that come off of that the oldie but goodie RCA it's good enough for testing uh, it's 12 volt it's a neon light for the car I got it up here just to use it for Test and make sure this thing works. There's a new light I got inside. When it's darker, it glows in here pretty good. Got a little blue one in there. There's the red one, let you know everything's working. Here's my USB. I'm gonna plug this amplifier here in. I'll show you it works. Hey, look at it. Both of them work. You plugged in everything everything works with the video you actually got to take the board and they got little black parts in there they're little coils you might not believe it but that's what they are see that thing in my finger there I can't really get a good good picture on to it this is a little conductor it's amazing that they made it that small. There was two of them on that board, huh? I popped them off of there. If you look on the board, you can see, you know, follow where they go. You, you'll you see it. But I just took them, I put a jumper in here. And I attached it to one of the wires. I just wired the mic up like it would be, you know, with the RCA like you would normally wire it up and then I just put the jumper in but the thing is when I hooked up this light, this LED here okay, this LED I couldn't run the 5 volts to them LEDs are funny, if you give them too much voltage they'll burn out I mean they'll burn out in a couple minutes they'll get real hot and just burn out and they won't even be the right color you'll know like if it's a green one and it's real yellowish color you got too much voltage to it you know if they change color if they if they don't look like what they're supposed to look like 
you know, I mean, you'll know. Uh, green one is a green one. You know, red one's red. There's no mixing that up. Whatever color they are, that's what color they're going to shine. Now, you got some clear ones that'll take and like this blue one I got, this blue it's actually clear, but when it lights up it's blue. Same thing with this one down here, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's just the blue colors are clear, but if you give it too much voltage it'll burn out. So I had to actually get a three volt and send it over here with the five volt. Because I got five volt, I got this hooked up like it would be a USB is hooked up normal. Except for the information. I took a couple information wires and that's what that red wire is for. It's for the LED. The white wire is a ground. And the red one's positive. It's three volt. And that's why I took those little pieces out that I showed you. Those little black conductors. These things. I took them out. So that's what was going on on the information part board over here. I pulled them off so it wouldn't make contact in here. It just right here. So I took and wired the three volt into the information wire. I think I used the white information wire. It don't matter whichever one you feel comfortable with. But I just put a jumper right off of that, and I got my light. So now I know it's getting power down there at least. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Works right with the switch. Everything works good. Unplug it. Yeah, that's what I say. I plug it up. It's a computer amplifier. I took it apart and I took the speakers out and I put them in a little car model. You know, have me a little bump in my model too. But this amp, I figured oh, I could use this for something. I got a whole mess of computer speed. I got a couple couple computers around here I'm using one I'm using parts out them for doing all this crazy stuff but the thing of it is it's so much nicer now you don't need a whole lot of crazy stuff I got like I said again yeah, saw them on there because so I was trying to put a bigger wire in on the board and it was just a headache it was a headache I don't even want to fool with it so I just left one off alone like I said I'm only doing it to test out 12 volt car audio stuff. This stuff like this runs off 12 volt, so I can use this. Still got that damn sign or something. But now, I don't have to worry about unplugging a whole bunch of stuff. I had this thing. If you look in some of my older videos, you might see this thing. I had this mounted up top of here and a whole gang of wires and shit hanging down and these always ended up touching each other and if you know what happens when these touch nothing it just it cuts off it's a protection circuit in there so if it ever shorts out it just cuts off there's another reason why I like these and shorts out woo it comes right back on works good everything working like it was shorted out whoa up oh. what happened there it is right back on Like I said, right now, I got the laptop hooked up to this. Here's the other end. Plug it right in the headphones. Play it off the stereo. Works great. And give you an idea. If you've seen the video where I was making this thing, trying to make it nice and neat and right, uh, let's unplug it. Look, right there. Wham. Plugs right up. Nice. Put the switch right here. I know it looks kind of funny with all these wires hanging out. There ain't nothing you can do for that. And you can try to make this look good, but you're gonna have wires coming out of it no matter what. And you could try to get fancy and put some kind of binding pole up here or something, banana plugs or something in here. You know, you could try that. <coughs> I just I don't have time like that. Be sitting here trying to drill them out, damn holes in there. Plus, you got electronics on the other side. That, that's why I say, once you get in here and start playing with one of these, then you can decide what you want to do. I didn't want to go that far.
as I put nice felt pads on the bottom. We don't scratch up nothing when I stick it on there. It's been very good, like I say, you know, I had all kinds of stuff up to it. I had an amp, C D player, my crossover. I got a three way electronic crossover. And I cranked it up and I played the hell out of it. And I was playing it hard. And it never cut off. I got another one that's three hundred water and it just I don't like it. You need a load on it before it even come on. So you need a LED or something hooked to it before you can come on, and then it only puts out 11-some volts. And I start cranking it, it cuts right off. I can't even play just the radio on it without it cutting off. And this thing, I'm telling you, this thing, I even had the damn light. I had that light on with everything when I was running it, and it didn't cut off. And this one's 22, this one only puts out 11.8 uh, 11, 11 volts. But I noticed once I start cranking it and start pouring some juice on it, she'll go on up to 12. But you don't want to get too crazy with these things. I mean, they ain't made for that. As long as you're doing it in moderate splurts or whatever, it's okay. But you can't just sit, say, oh, I'm going to use this for my party tonight, man, and just crank the fucker up and walk away from it. You can't do that. You might be able to get away with it once or twice, but it ain't gonna last something's gonna burn up more likely it's gonna be your equipment more than it's gonna be this power supply so this power supply you know it's got the cooling fan and all in it it's gonna take a while for it to get hot that radio is not getting the juice it needs like it should like in a car it'd be getting 14 15 volts in a car car puts out 14 and a half volts somewhere in there you know you would end up burning up your equipment so don't even try it. It's a, don't even waste your time. Every time I do a damn video, there's always some kind of old ass movie playing in it. I'm sorry. Days of Thunder. I'm sorry. Last videos I had damn Howard the Duck. Straight 80s, man. I'm sorry about that. But that's all that is. Just want to give you a little update on that and how you can make it work. I mean, you can take a quarter jack and solder your own wires on it and all that stuff, or it's something simple as that. This car this is a couple bucks. You can find these. Parts Express has them. Probably MCM Electronics has them. You might even be able to find it up Radio Shack, which is where this one came from. This one came from Radio Shack. Which I'm surprised they're still in business. I don't know how they make it anymore. I guess they sell them fuck out of phones or something. But that's that. Interested in how this worked and all that? Just look, give me give me some kind of message. Let me know something if you need help. It's not hard at all. It's simple. So I say, once you get in here and see how all this works and everything, it's it's simple make you want to start working on computers the rest of your life. That's all that is. Just ground, 5 and 3 volt run over there. Alright, until the next one. Find something else to make. Or fix.